Hi, I'm Dr. Courtney with the Quantitative Reasoning Center. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the difference between watching somebody work problems and actually practicing. It's sort of like the difference between watching a great pianist practice or watching a great basketball player do his thing and actually getting out there and practicing yourself in preparation for an event. Watching these EI videos is not the same. It's not going to give you the equivalent proficiency as practicing on your own the techniques that you see. Okay, the task at hand is uh, 15.8, number 19, and the instructions say to set up the triple integral on an arbitrary continuous function of an arbitrary continuous function in cylindrical or spherical coordinates over the solid that's shown. So the big idea is really to pick appropriate uh, coordinate system given the geometry or one could also say the asymmetries of the region. So to develop our plan, well the first thing we want to do is draw our picture And one important thing to note here is that I've changed the numbers just a little bit so as not to deprive you the opportunity of practicing this uh, on your own. So this, uh, if you look at the picture in the book, it looks something like a quarter of a disc or a quarter of a cylinder. So it's down here in the XY plane and then it comes up a bit and my drawing might not be uh, as perfect as one might hope for, but uh, eh, hopefully not too bad. So the radius of the cylinder we're going to take to be 2, and that's a little different from the picture in the book. And the height of the quarter cylinder we're going to take to be 3 units. So what we've got is a quarter of a cylinder. It's in uh, the... Uh, first quadrant of the XY plane comes up along the z-axis it has a radius of 2 and a height of 3 so to make our plan we need to determine the coordinate system and then we need to uh, find the limits of integration in each variable. All right, now evaluating or executing our plan. Since it's a quarter of a cylinder centered on the z-axis, the cylindrical coordinate system is particularly appropriate. So in cylindrical coordinates, We'll set up our triple integral, and f of x, y, z, we would have to convert to f of r, theta, and z. And the uh, volume, dv, in cylindrical coordinates is r, dr, d theta, dz. And since we're integrating over the variable r first, uh, we think about r going from the z-axis, which is r equals 0, out to the edge of the region here, which is r equals 2. Now, we'll think about theta. We're in the first quadrant in the xy plane, so this is theta equals 0 on the x-axis. And this is theta equals pi over 2 over here on the y-axis. If we had the whole cylinder, it would be theta equals 0 to 2 pi. But we only have this fourth of the cylinder, so the limits are theta equals 0 to theta equals pi over 2. Now our limits in z, where we're going from the plane, z equals 0, up to the plane, z equals 3, 
So those are our limits. Z equals zero to Z equals three. Well, how do we assess this problem? Really all we've done is set up the integral. We didn't actually evaluate uh, the integral. Well, one way to assess it would be to actually suppose, so take f of r theta and z equals 1, and then compute the integral And then the volume should be one-fourth the volume of the cylinder in question. And the volume of the cylinder in question would be pi r squared is the area of the base times the height. And if uh, we were to evaluate for an integrand uh, where the function is equal to one, actually compute the integral, and find that the volume is what we expect, that would be a great assessment showing that our region of integration was set up correctly.